Welcome back to 100 Days of Logic with Carnades.org. Today we're going to be continuing with categorical logic and categorical syllogisms, looking at categorical syllogisms for Aristotle and creating Venn diagrams for Aristotle and telling if categorical syllogisms are valid for Aristotle as opposed to for Boole. This is going to be a little bit longer than our normal video, so this is going to be a three-minute philosophy video instead of 90 seconds. Let's take a look. So, the steps in order to determine whether a categorical syllogism is valid for Aristotle are, first we're going to test the syllogism with Boole. If it's valid for Boole, it's going to be valid for Aristotle and we're done. However, if it's invalid with bool and it has a particular conclusion, we're going to look for a term with only one area available. And then we're going to put a circled x there. That circled x, remember, means that it's dependent on, it's conditional on, that thing existing. If the term that had only one area open exists, and the argument would be valid with the circled x, then the argument's going to be valid for Aristotle. Let's take a look at some examples. So, first, figure 3, E, A, O. No M or P, all M or S, therefore some S are not P. We'll fill in no M or P, and all M or S. We'll see that this is not going to be valid for bool. There's no X anywhere, and we need an X for our O statement at the end to be true. However, we see that there is one circle that only has one area open. That M circles will put the X with the circle around it in that one spot left over. If we look at the argument, we find out that M means mammal. Mammals exist, so this is going to be a valid argument. Figure 1, A, A, I. All M are P. All S are M. Therefore, some S are P. Clearly, it's not going to be valid for bool because there is no X, and we need an X for the I statement to be true. However, it could be valid for Aristotle because it has that particular conclusion. We're going to put an X with a circle around it in the only spot that's available for that S circle. And then we're going to see if S exists. S is snake. Snakes exist. So this is going to be a valid argument. That was Aristotle without the existential fallacy. That means that all of our M's or S's or P's existed. Next up, we're going to be looking at the same set of categorical syllogisms, but without those terms existing, with the existential fallacy, or at least the existential fallacy for Aristotle. Remember, any argument that is valid for Aristotle but not valid for Boole is going to commit the Boolean existential fallacy, but not necessarily the Aristotelian existential fallacy. And finally, we'll look at some answers to a number of problems dealing with validity for Boole and Aristotle. Watch a new video every single day for 100 days here at carnadies.org, and stay skeptical, everybody.